Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn, and today I want to talk about ENFJs and their 10 baddest habits. Okay, I want to start off by first giving a quick shout out to all my ENFJ supporters at patreon.com slash ericdor. Your support really means a lot to me, so I, I just want to let you know I really appreciate you, appreciate, uh, appreciate you guys, and I, I would like to do, uh, uh, if I could just go out and hug you all, oh, that would be so good. So, first bad habit, caring too much about what other people think. I've been realizing lately that I care way too much about what other people think. So I've decided to really release myself from other people's expectations. I really decided to start doing something for myself. So I was wondering, what do you think I should do? Should I color my hair? Should I try out the new dress style? Should I maybe go dye my hair black or maybe red or maybe blue? Like, I feel like doing something crazy. What do you think would look best on me? What do you think is more me? Would you say I'm more of an outgoing person or a little bit more reserved? I mean, sometimes I can be outgoing, but sometimes I also want to be by myself. Uh, sometimes I want to... Uh, like uh, brainstorm ideas, but I can also be very practical if uh, other people want me to. And you know, uh, this is the thing, you know, like if I, I, I feel like I've been searching my whole life for my identity. I've been searching my whole life for my identity, who I am, what I'm, what is the real me, you know. I feel like I've been a different person with every single one I met. Every person I met, I feel like has changed me. So uh, here's, here's what I was thinking, like, what if I go on a retreat, you know, what if I go on a retreat away in the mountains and I don't talk to anybody for a few weeks and I just, you know, go away, you know, I've been thinking about that for a long time, just going away somewhere, uh, just by myself, alone in the mountains, just maybe meditating, just uh, not saying a word. Oh, that sounds like a great idea, doesn't it? You'd like to come with me, right? Uh, you can come with me if you like. Like, we could bring a lot of people with. Uh, like, uh, Yanni could come and uh, Sarah might be interested. Like, we can bring a lot of people together here to this retreat. And, like, make it a really fun, nice event, you know. We could, uh, uh, like, uh, have lots of, like, great discussions. And, like, uh, we could have lots of beer and drink and, like, just really let loose, you know. Sometimes people say I contradict myself, but I don't really understand what they mean, you know? It's, uh, I, yeah, I do agree with your proposition, and with your proposition, and with your proposition. And of course I also agree with you. Uh, I don't know what the problem is. And of course this is also a great idea. Oh, you want the other way? You want it to be the other way? Yeah, that's also a great idea. I had, I don't feel like I contradict myself. I feel like I just, uh, you know, uh, I just want to find a way for everybody to get what they want. Good morning. I hope you slept well. Uh, I know, hope you see that I took the liberty of making you breakfast in bed and coffee and uh, like uh, pancakes and uh, scrambled tofu and uh, you know I couldn't really decide what to make so I also made you a sandwich and some croissants and some fresh fruit and uh, uh, some strawberries and uh, I, didn't, I didn't know like do you prefer orange juice or apple juice? Uh, so I have a glass of orange juice here, but I also have a glass of apple juice. Um, and then when you wake up, I've cleaned the entire house, so everything is in order, and I also prepared some uh, food for you to take with you to work, and uh, I also ironed your shirt and clothes, so everything is ready. You don't have to stress at all. What do you mean, when did I wake up? Two hours ago. Why? So, I didn't want know what you wanted to order, so I ordered a cola and a cola zero. Which one do you want? Okay, great. Then I'll have the other one. Why do you never do anything for me? Why do I always have to do everything? Why do I have to make you breakfast in bed? Why do I have to cook for you? Why do I have to clean for you? Why do I have to iron your shirts? Why can't you do anything for me? Like, why can't you take me out sometime? You know, cook for me, like, 
do something nice, dress up, you know, like uh, something just to help me out. I, you know, can't you see that I am also stressed? Like, well, I always have to wake up two hours to cook and make, prepare everything. I always have to look perfect for you. I always have to like make sure everything is uh, clean and organized. Why don't you ever help out with anything? What do you mean you never asked? I uh, you never asked me to do any of these things. What do you mean you would help me out if I let you know? What do you mean that uh, I'm so done with Patrick? I feel like he never says hello in the morning. You know he's always like quiet. He never says anything. You know he's always like like looking at me like he's angry. I don't even understand what's his problem. Why is he like that? Why can't he just be like normal and say good morning and ask me about my day. Is he like upset with me for something? Did I do something wrong? Oh no. Maybe I offended him somehow. Maybe I said something I shouldn't have. Maybe there was uh, like may maybe he he uh, misunderstood me that one time. How oh god. Oh, I'm a horrible person, aren't I? Oh, I did something wrong, didn't I? So, get this. I was talking to Patrick about the other day and I was trying to apologize and he didn't even remember what happened. So I asked him like why he was so upset all the time and he was like, I don't understand, this is how I always look. And uh, he was like acting like there was nothing was wrong and that everything was fine. And uh, like, uh, it just makes me wonder like, am I crazy? Did I just imagine it? Like, what if it's what? No, he... Uh, So, I was speaking to my therapist the other day, and he said something really fascinating, you know, he really changed my mind, he really made me realize something about myself. So, you know how uh, I always uh, am the first person to work, you know how I always uh, uh, do all the review lists and all the projects ahead of time, and how I always come prepared to the meetings, and how uh, I always make sure everything is planned and prepared ahead of time and how I always keep my uh, pens in the color order and how I make sure everything around me is neat and tidy. He, he told me I didn't have to do that. And you know what he said? He said, maybe you do this to avoid criticism. Maybe in reality you're just afraid that if you didn't do these things somebody would criticize you for it. Maybe you're just trying to appear perfect because you're really afraid of being hurt or wounded by other people. And then he really like, uh, he really took me for a ride. Like he asked me some questions and they really uh, reframed my head. Like they really turned everything around, like upside down. He changed everything. And he said, what is so bad about being criticized? What is so bad with making a mistake? What is so bad with doing something wrong? Don't we all do things wrong sometimes? Don't your friends also do mistakes? Don't other people also have problems? You know you're my best friend, right? Like, I, I would do anything for you. If you need me, I would do anything for you. I really, really care about you. And I also care about you. I really, really care about all of you. You're all my best friends. All of you, you mean the world to me. I'm really overwhelmed by how kind you all are and how supportive you all of me and how helpful you all are. And uh, I hope you really know I really, really appreciate you.